portable DIY MIG machine known as Porter MIG 180P is ideal for the individual who wants to do general maintenance and hobby welding at home, for example security gates, palisade fencing and burglar bars. The Porter MIG 180P comes as a complete package including the trolley, shielding gas cylinder, flow meter and MIG gun. Various drive rolls are also included in the package to accommodate different wire sizes. The Porter MIG is ideal for welding general purpose mild steel wires of 0.6 mm and 0.8 mm diameter and is available in a 5 kg spool. Remove the Porter MIG from the packaging and assemble the trolley as per the instruction manual provided. Nuts, bolts and a spanner are included for this function. Ensure that you have selected the correct type as well as the correct size drive roll to match the diameter of the filler wire. Fit the spool of wire to the spool hub and attach in position with the retaining nut. Cut the end of the spool wire with wire cutters and ensure that you have the rest of the wire firmly in your grasp. Feed the cut end through the guide tubes and drive rolls until it extends 50 mm outside the MIG gun adapter. Tighten the drive roll with a tension mechanism to prevent back spooling. Attach the MIG gun to the gun adapter by guiding it over the extending wire and tighten securely. Remember to remove the nozzle and contact tip before feeding the wire. Set a slow speed on the wire speed selector. Pull the trigger on the MIG gun and your wire will be fed through the feeder and MIG gun. Release the trigger when the wire protrudes approximately 30 mm from the tip adapter of the MIG gun. Remember to replace the nozzle and contact tip after feeding the wire. Cut the wire to the correct stick-out length. Place shielding gas cylinder onto the trolley behind the machine and secure with chain provided. Remove the dust cover and open the valve momentarily to dislodge any impurities that might have collected during storage. Connect your flow meter to the cylinder using a cylinder spanner. Attach the gas hose to the flow meter and machine. Open the cylinder valve. Pull the trigger on the MIG gun and select the correct gas flow rate on the flow meter to the desired reading. This is normally 15 liters per minute depending on the prevailing conditions and then release the trigger. Your gas flow is now set. Tighten the tension mechanism on the drive roll. Set the wire tension by one turn of the tensioner. Ensure that the earth clamp is not connected to your workbench. To check whether the set tension is correct, bend the end of the wire until the sharp end faces upward and then press the blunt end of the wire against the surface of your workbench. Press the trigger and if the wire feeds continuously without slipping at the drive roll, then the tension is correct. It is important that not too much tension is exerted on the wire as it could change the shape of the wire and result in feeding problems. Select the desired volt as well as wire feed settings to indicate amperage. Reconnect the earth clamp to your workpiece. Your parameters are now set and the machine can now be used for welding operations.